You've seen Fraser, Hastings. What is your feeling? He's a big chap. Fragile isn't exactly the word that springs to mind. I talked to his landlady before seeing him. She went to bed at 11. Fraser wasn't home yet. Bien. Megan Barnard said he is a reserved character but with a nasty temper. We will see if this is the case. That was necessary. Alrighty, let's go, buddy. Oh, I forgot how slowly he walks. Alrighty, welcome back. We're going over to the, uh, what is it? The red-headed cat to see, uh, question Donald Fraser. It's not red-headed. It's something that means that, isn't it? What is it? The ginger cat. Oh, my gosh, Ed. How could you forget? Alrighty, go over there. Get inside that hook. You'll put that... Alrighty. Let's check him out first. Wait, can we uh, look at anyone else first? Let's talk to her. Let's see what I this. finished with this subject. Oh, okay. Well, can we look at her? I don't want talk this to young her? man here. Be quick and do okay, what you okay, must. Okay, okay, okay. How come some of the ladies' voices are so distorted in this game? We can't look at him first. We can only talk. All right. How do you do, Mr. Fraser? You Hercule Poirot? Mr. Hastings said you wanted to speak to me. Yes. I know that it may not be at the right time, but I would like to ask you a few questions. Oh, okay. Now can we look at him, please? Here we go. This man Check him looks out. suspicious. There we go. Didn't shave your face. Donald Fraser is in Dark a terrible circles. state. As if he hadn't slept all night. And he's drinking white horse. Leave me alone. Nope. I gotta talk to you, sir. Here we go. Tell me that it's a mistake. That Betty isn't dead. Sadly... Your lady friend has been murdered, Mr. Fraser. Oh, Betty, if only you'd listened. Um, well, let's ask what would have happened if she'd listened if she to had him. If she listened to you, she would still be alive. Should I take that to be a confession? With that sort of thinking, you must send a lot of innocent men to prison. Under different circumstances, I might even find you amusing... Sir, it's no time for amusement, <laughs> Mr. Fraser. It is time to find your fiance's killer. Did you know what her plans were for the evening? She said she was having dinner with her sister. Ah, uh, let's see. Her sister was in London. Yet Megan only returned to Bexhill this morning, Mr. Fraser. I didn't know. Right. May I ask you what you were doing yesterday evening? I spent the evening working. Your colleagues can confirm this? No. I often take work home with me. Point out he doesn't have an alibi. Accuse him of lying, just like Betty. Okay. Therefore, you don't have an alibi? You have no alibi, Mr. Fraser. That's right. But that doesn't make me a murderer, Mr. Poirot. I would like you to leave now, please. Oh, you don't get to tell me when uh, to leave, I sir. To hear, I thought the victim's young man was here. Yes, he's all yours, Chief Inspector. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. All right. Romantic? Confessional? Spelled romantic wrong. Did Donald have a motive for Betty's murder? Alrighty, let's see. The victim is marked. Betty used to go out a great deal. That's a motive. Donald was a violent man. He was very much in love with Betty. Oh, no. I thought that was going to be it. Uh, let's see. He doesn't have an alibi, but that isn't a motive. Uh, he was a violent man. Ooh, there we are. 
Jealousy was his motive. Does Donald have an alibi? No, he does not. Does Donald have a motive for all the murders? Uh, no. He may have killed Betty, but he doesn't have a motive for Mrs. Asher's murder. Boy, those words go quickly. Return to the crime scenes. Synapse. Half the questions from Little Gray Saddles. All right. Oh, let's look at this. What's going on here? This is a well-laid table. Nothing is out of place, and above all, no creases. Ooh. <laughs> no creases, huh? All righty. Just making sure there's nothing else left in here to do. All right. What is it? Return to the scenes of the crimes? Return to the crime scenes. All righty. Fraser doesn't have an alibi and he's extremely jealous. You are very skilled at summing up. And yet you haven't asked Jap to arrest him. It is too soon. But I agree. Without the letters announcing the crimes, Fraser would already be behind bars. Bon, I think we have enough elements. Let's reconstruct the events at the scene of the crime. Oh, reconstruction. I can't imagine how the murderer wasn't seen, though. Surely I'm so glad they didn't make me walk over here again. Let us try and imagine the scene. Alrighty, let's try. Let's just try, you guys. Okay, the last time I, it took me three times to get it right. Let's see if I can beat that. Come on, Ed. Come on. You can do this. You got to believe in yourself, but I only kind of do. Reconstruction. The killer and the victim are okay. walking on the beach. Miss Betty has a bag, a belt around her waist, and carries her shoes in her hand. Both of them walk slowly to aunt number five. Okay, um, Betty goes to change. Miss Betty enters the hut. No, no, no. It wasn't hunt number five. Let us sink again. Ah. That's right. Ah, oh, Edward, you dummy. The killer. See, I thought advance met, meant the guy gets closer to Betty. I didn't realize. Okay. Both of them walk slowly to hunt number six. Yep. Okay, Betty changes. Miss Betty enters the hut. She leaves without her belongings. Then she hides a coat. Uh, let's see. She removes the belt first. Maybe? I don't know how close she removed the belt. Let's find the out. The killer tries to remove his victim's belt. She panics and tries to stop him. No, they were further up. She runs away, pursued by an oh. assailant. No, there is no sign of a chase. Things must have happened differently. Let us sink ah. again, mon cher. I thought it meant that she removed her belt. You guys got to be more... more. Uh, you got to give me more details here. The killer and... Okay, you got to say who's doing what, all right? I thought it meant Betty removes her belt and... All right, let's just advance a little bit because they... She didn't, uh, they didn't find her until a little walking. further down the beach. Then she removes her belt. Yeah. That's what I tried to do last time. The murderer Come moves on. behind her and then attacks her by surprise. The body falls, lifeless, on the sand. Everything appears to match the crime scene, mon cher Hastings. That is exactly what happened. Three times again. Took me the third time. Come on, but this time, I don't know. I feel like they cheated. <laughs> you gotta give me more details, you guys. Come on, man. Without the ABC, we might have suspected Mr. Asher and Mr. Fraser. But by signing his crimes, the murderer is making sure he's accused. In a way, it is very generous of him. Generous? The murderer seduced Betty in order to lure her to the beach and kill her. Indeed, the young woman was certainly careless but not stupid enough to follow a stranger. What are you planning to do, Poirot? 
Return to London, mon cher Hastings. All right, we're going back to London. I got a new thumbnail. I don't know what that means. Okay, I don't want to play the reconstruction again. Let's just go back to London. I gotta walk this whole way. Come on. Get up there, you slow walking fool. <laughs> Gee whiz. I keep wanting to call him Holmes because this game is so much like Sherlock Holmes' crimes and punishments. I also want to always say crimes and misdemeanors because of Woody Allen. <laughs> 